tell you one internal process bin to bin process okay. bin to bin so this bin to bin process bin to bin the bin means storage bin to storage bin one storage bin to another storage bin they can move the stock okay storage bin transfer So most of the bin related uh, transactions are like if you see the transactions mostly transactions we have multiple transactions uh, if you take uh, one lt01 okay you can transfer partial quantity partial quantity can be transferred can be transferred from one bin to another bin okay lt 10 transferred from one bin to bin here only one bin can be involved lt 10 you can do multiple bins can be transferred but quantity change is not allowed okay so you can transfer 100 or 200 bins from one bin to another bin but you cannot change the quantity lt10 there is lt09 another popular one this is like bin to bin bin to bin okay, i think i can say that transfer of storage unit from one bin to other bin Okay. transfer of storage unit we have a storage unit can be a pallet or can be a box or can be a okay uh, even bottles also can be created as a storage unit or tins can be created as a storage unit and if you if the storage unit they, it is stored in one pallet for example what is this bin to bin okay let's take it let's remove all those doors and all okay. this is bins okay these are the different bins right for example if you are moving a stock between For example, if you are moving a stock from the one bin to another bin, for example, if you are moving the stock from the this bin to this bin, then you can utilize this process called the storage bin to bin. not convenient shape <coughs> maybe this is better For example, if you are moving the stock from the one bin to another bin, then um, the system can consider like this bin to bin. From top bin to bottom bin, you can change, or else from here to here. The same way, you can change from the one bin to another bin. From here to, you can move to this place. from here to here you, you want to transfer the stock so all these kind of uh, transfers will be considered like a uh, bin to bin transfer you want to move from the uh, there are materials uh, on the fifth uh, we call it like pick face okay 
even in our videos also explained about that one the business always plan for that uh, the materials whenever um, the materials having some shortage at the bottom like our level 1 level 2 uh, the materials where the top levels will be moved to the bottom levels so that when the picker comes he doesn't how much time for example uh, you are at your home or you, you went to one supermarket and uh, there are six levels of stock is there and if you are uh, going for a supermarket if the everything is in your height maybe three feet or five feet or six feet four feet of height you can easily take the materials and quickly you can complete your shopping otherwise if there is the materials are available in some uh, sixth level or seventh level you need to ask someone and uh, he has to come and help you to provide that materials okay so during receiving we can keep there to have a better storage okay but during picking always the materials need to be moved to the bottom so whenever there is a shortage you can run the replenishment concept so that uh, that materials will come to bottom so the during picking it will be faster okay so you can move from one bin to another bin also so these are the bin to bin transfer in this bin to bin transfer you need to understand that no no accounting entries let me highlight in different color okay so no accounting entries we need to understand these points what are the special no accounting entries no uh, impact on storage location stock for example in your uh, storage location there are 100 pieces are there that 100 pieces is located in let's take 20 bins in these 20 bins you are transferring the material from one bin to another bin another bin to other bin you, can, you are moving all those things it will not have any impact on your storage location stock that is still 100 pieces no accounting entries because of bin to bin transfer when you are transferring from one bin to another bin there will not be any accounting entries and also no impact on WMGR date in the quant so this is going to play the role when you are doing the FIFO right the first in first out based on the WMGR date what is Ganesh is talking about WMGR date so that is in LQA if it is a table LQA table carry this uh, WM GR date GR date see this is the WM GR date it can be different from the IM GR date okay so because in WM GR date you can change it or you can have a different date and all compared to IM but generally both are same when you are receiving on December 3rd the same GR date will be allocated to the WM stock also Okay, but still SAP allowed to change that uh, GR date in WM let's take it how to change that so I'm going to take this um, stock where is the quant the field yeah this is the quant 273 270. quant is like a combination of a key fields like a material okay you can see here so it's material plant how can you come to know elqua so when you come to elqua okay so warehouse and quant right there is a combination of material a plant a batch stock category system will allocate one quant number the t code is ls 22 okay ls 22 what the warehouse number 272 okay so when you go to 272 here you can see this gr date so gr date you can change in wm which is not possible in im okay so the gr date will play the role during picking whether you want to have a lifo like a first in first out or last in first out and based on that requirement you can update the gr date in your system okay this is about the gr date which i am talking about uh, LQA table or LS22 you can see this one here I can change the stock date to 0101 okay. so I can change it this is about the bin to bin transfer this date will not be changed when you are transferring from bin to bin for example the material is received on uh, March 25th 2022 today you have done the bin to bin transfer from one bin to another bin but the GR date will not be affected because of your bin to bin transfer that's important point you must understand okay. 
so yeah then we will go to the next uh, one process physical inventory so what is the difference between the im physical inventory and the wm physical inventory okay so let's go to the, okay i think we are talking about the tables right so tables wise mostly bin related tables we can get from transactions and tables tables wise i believe you can um, use this stock table mostly elqua and uh, when you do the bin to bin transfer system is going to create the transfer orders so ltac ltap header and item if you still want to see the bin status a bin information and all then la gp table okay these tables are sufficient and these three transactions are quite popular when you are uh, dealing with uh, one bin to another bin okay